Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, I'm going to show you an RC Orchestra workflow that I use to augment and localize my YouTube content. We're going to start from a YouTube video and extract the English captions automatically generated by YouTube. Then using a small language model, I'm going to use those captions to write a blog post and save it to Google Docs. And likewise, I am going to translate the blog post into Hindi and Chinese. Let's get started. In the start node, I have a single input variable, which is the video ID. The video ID is what you see here in the YouTube URL. With the video ID, I'm able to retrieve the list of available caption tracks. So for this, I use the YouTube integration with the list caption track API and all I need to do is to pass the video ID and the output of that API is a JSON document listing the different tracks that are available. So one of them is the English caption track. So it's very simple for me to prompt a model and say based on the JSON document that you're receiving here, find the English caption track and return the unique ID of this track, okay? So I could probably use a bit of code to do this uh, as well, but uh, the language model was perfectly capable of doing it right. Now that I have the ID of the English caption track, again, I'm using the YouTube integration with the load captions API to download the actual captions from that track, okay? And those will come with timestamps, as you would expect, um, and I want to clean them up. I only want a, a clean uh, caption, uh, plain text output. So using a small language model again, I'm prompting it to uh, keep the original text and do just some minor fixes. So remove the uh, hesitations that I'm uh, guilty of, make sure the company name is RC, not RC, which YouTube loves to output, uh, again, I make it clear that the model name is Virtuoso and not Virtual or Virtuals. Uh, sometimes the transcription is incorrect. Uh, same for integrations, which are done with a service called Composio. And yes, my first name is Julian with an E, not with an A. And I also want the model to add punctuation, with, which is generally missing from, from the captions. Okay, so just cleaning things up and making sure I get a nice clean output to write the blog post, okay? And so now, using the Virtuoso large model, because it's a better writer, uh, I want to write a technical blog based on the video's theme, okay? And I want the model to add some of its own knowledge and perspective just to uh, enrich the blog post. I want a proper introduction and conclusion, and I want a call to action with links, and I want everything in markdown formatting, okay? So the output of this will be hopefully a nice English language blog post, which I can then store to Google. I'm also going to build Chinese and Hindi translations of the blog post, and I'm using virtuals or small for that, so very simple prompt, just translate the English post, okay? So that's Chinese. And that's Hindi, almost the same prompt. And finally, I'm uh, storing those three blog posts into Google Documents using the Google Doc integration. The title of the doc will be YouTube video with the video ID and then the language. And the markdown text will be uh, the output from uh, one of the previous steps. And that's all there is to it, and in the end, I should get my three Google Docs in English, Chinese, and Hindi. As usual, we could run the workflow here and uh, see the, uh, the JSON output, but instead, let's run this in the chat. So in the chat window, I asked uh, Virtuoso Large to write blog post for this video, and I just pasted the full URL of this video here. And we can see the workflow executed and apparently Virtuoso did pick up that the video ID was this. Uh, it did extract this and pass it to the workflow. We can see this here, so that's nice. 
and we have here the cleaned up caption and now let's take a look at Google Docs so here's the uh, English blog post and we can see this is you know nicely structured step-by-step -step explanation of each box um, model names look good my first name looks good <laughs> and my call to action looks good so this is nice I can add this to uh, to my posts on you know medium and uh, and sub stack now, this is a good way for the viewer to uh, get a quick overview of the video and then of course I've got my uh, Hindi and Chinese translations but let's ask Gemini to translate back to English and see what that looks like so here is the English translation and I have to say you know it looks it looks very good uh, again you know service names are accurate and it looks very close to the to the English version and I did the same for the, the Chinese post and it does look good too so of course native speakers would probably find some small inconsistency but for me uh, this is a really really good way to uh, to localize my content and, and actually from now on I will post uh, those Hindi and Chinese versions to uh, to my sub stack and uh, hopefully this gets me uh, more viewers and uh, this uh, helps folks out there read some cool AI content in their own native language all right that's what I wanted to show you today uh, a nice little demo of RC Orchestra with a combination of YouTube APIs and small language models to augment and localize your YouTube content that's it for today hope you like it until next time my friends keep rocking